Good morning, everyone. Okay. Yeah, my name is uh, Alfonso. Take I'm... off your mask. <laughs> okay. I'm from the University of Deusto in Bilbao, Spain. Um, uh, I'm acting in this course action as the leader of the working group two, which main aim is to pay attention to uh, technologies for a non-invasive uh, underground uh, heritage uh, analysis, evaluation, monitoring, diagnosis, and so on and so forth. Uh, today, I'm here to present you uh, Ethno Ally, the ally of the ethnographer. Uh, this tool uh, was developed a few years ago, and uh, it tries to respond to the needs and requirements of, uh, at the very beginning, of uh, Paolo Avero, uh, who is a professor at the Antwerp University in, in Belgium. Uh, this project is, is it's a, it's a, it's a life, life project. project. Mm -hmm. We are currently adding functionalities based on the needs and requirements of anyone who wants to use this app. Uh, well, the more funds we have, the, the faster we, we can, can go. go. This is, this is the, the reality. That's why, no, okay. you need this one. That's why. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, so, yeah. Let me uh, let me introduce this this tool in a in a few words. Uh, Ethno Ally. It's at once. Everything was fine. Uh, it's at once um, a tool for taking notes and a multimodal diary. It consists mainly on three elements, a mobile uh, application, a cloud server, and a web-based uh, application. Uh, the mobile application uh, allows you to take uh, audio, text, text notes, videos, photos. Every multimedia material will be geolocated. And thanks to uh, this location, we can infer other information, such as the speed, the, the time, well, some characteristics uh, uh, which I'm going to show you in this uh, practical uh, lecture. Uh, every material, it's been stored in, uh, in the cloud. So once going back home or the office, you can see, you can analyze all the material you gather during the field work through the web-based uh, uh, application, okay, which is the third element. Uh, I was thinking on this lecture, and I think that's, that the best way to show you how this uh, application works is to show you in, 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 in real. No? So I hope the technology uh, works. Let me share, well, let me stop sharing this uh, slide. So I'm going to share my the screen of my um, phone. So this way, I hope. Yeah. So yeah, that's my that's my phone. So um, uh looks like uh, this icon. Okay. The the. So you can search for this application in Google Play or Apple Store, just type in Ethno Ally. So for instance, if you go to Apple Store and search for uh, Ethno Ally, Ethno, oh, sorry, Ethno Ally. So that's the, the application, oh, sorry, it's too small, but I hope you can see the, so if I open the application, uh, yeah, well, you can uh, sign up, you can uh, recover your password, and once sign up, you can log in. Uh, in the middle, this, there is a functionality we call the offline mode. The offline mode was um, thought for those who uh, don't want to uh, use the uh, internet. 
or for those who uh, don't have an internet connection. Okay, so this way you can keep using the application, gathering all the material. This material will be stored in your own uh, smartphone. And once you recover the internet connection, you can upload the, the material to the, to the web, okay? But thanks to the uh, roaming in Europe, I think that this functionality is not uh, so interesting for us uh, nowadays. So let me, oh, sorry. Yeah. So let me uh, log in with my credentials in this case. So the main, um, the main uh, screen is just a map. Okay, so I can zoom out. The, the application automatically uh, based on the location, center the, the map in, in where, where you are. And the application is very easy to use. I mean, here in the plus button, you have uh, the different uh, material you can gather with this application. Uh, photos, uh, videos, audio, and text notes. These are quite common, but there are two additional functionalities with, which I think that uh, there are the, of, of, uh, more interesting for, for, for you, which is the track um, functionality and the interview functionality. Okay, let me show you in a, in a, in a few minutes how this works. Oh, sorry. Well, in the left you have the menu so you can access uh, for instance photos so you can take a photo or, uh, or, or take the photo from your uh, from your folder uh, you can take videos audio text whatever here in the settings you can uh, choose the quality of the video recording mainly to save uh, data and, 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 and connection and once you are setting up you are asking to fill uh, your profile. A few questions characterizing your profile, okay? This is a live project. I mean, uh, some, fun some functionalities uh, uh, must develop. And one of them is the security. So please do not use any personal password, okay? Because the, um, the information is not encrypted yet, okay? Um, well, and here in the offline data, in my case, I don't have any material pending to, to, to be uploaded, but in case you use the offline mode, then you will see here uh, what are the material pending to be uploaded to the, to the cloud, okay? So this way you can, once you recover the internet connection, you can upload all the material to the, to the web. Well, uh, as I mentioned before, in my view, the most interesting functionalities or the most funny or novel functionalities are the track and the interviews. However, uh, I'm going to show you these functionalities uh, using the web, the, 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 the web application. Well, if, if you are in the, in, the, in, the, in the phone, in the smartphone and you click the track, uh, the track allows you to track your position, imagine that you are doing field work, you are visiting a place and you want to link every multimedia material you took during the field work, photos, videos, interviews, whatever, uh, to the track you are, you are following. So this functionality allows you to link automatically all the material. I'm going to show you an example in the, in the, in the web because I think that uh, here the, the, yeah, the, the screen is, is too narrow. And the other interesting functionality is the interview. The interview allows you, first of all, to create an interview environment. I mean, imagine that you want to ask someone for a specific place, the stakeholder of, of the case study. So you can create beforehand the interview um, uh, environment. I mean, you can upload photos, videos, whatever you want to ask for the interviewee. And after that, you can start the interview. I mean, you can record the audio. At the same time, you can uh, show uh, the stakeholder what things you are asking for, and everything is stored in the application and, and after that in the in, in the server. So you can access all the material after that from your home or, or office. But as this screen is too narrow, let me, well, this is just to, to show you how uh, the, the application, looks like and uh, well the, the main functionalities which is, is is very very easy to use the application okay 
The main aim of this application is to gather multimedia material related to the case study. Okay. Once this material is uh, gathered, and if you are working online, I mean, if you have a internet connection, then you can access the web page. So let me stop sharing my smartphone screen, and I'm going to share the, um, yeah, this is the, yeah. Well, this is how, um, uh, at the Ethnolite web uh, base uh, web uh, web page, sorry, looks like. Once, well, using the same credentials you used to uh, sign, sign up the, the, the mobile application, you can use the same for this uh, mobile, uh, sorry, for this uh, web page, okay? Uh, the web uh, allows you, well, on the, on the, left you can see these three icons these three icons allows you to search material based on the date based on the user or based on keywords for instance let me show you uh well the active oh, it's not so the, the the active colors means that we have material those days okay and not active means that there is no any material let me choose, for instance, what was the activity last month. For instance, from this to twelve last Friday. Well, as you can see, this application is being used uh, worldwide. The, uh, well, the USA, Colombia, Chile, and, and Europe. Here in, on the uh, right, you can just this is a filter. You can activate or deactivate the different uh, materials. Okay, and you can click on what well, we are currently, uh, we can see the material declared as public. Okay, once you take uh, photos, videos, whatever, you can declare the material as public or private. If you declare as, as public, anyone like me, as, as you can see uh, now, I can see your material. If you declare it as private, then only you with your credentials can see the material, okay? Uh, so for instance, we can click here, uh, nearby multimedia, the Fontanella Cemetery. I don't know, but the, well, someone was taking this video in probably people from, Yeah, yeah, me again. Okay, so let me uh, share again. Yeah, nice. So, uh, 
we can we can look for uh, I mean we can search material based on the date. We can uh, search material based on the on the user, for instance. In ah, yeah, in this case, well as you can see here, there are a lot of uh, users. But let me uh, look for uh, well, Ali, one of my one of our workmates. He is in in London. Yeah, the internet connection is not stable. Yeah, this is what, well, once uh, searching in this case for a specific user, username, in this case, you can also filter by uh, not only user, but also the, the kind of material and for a specific date, keyword, okay? But in this case, without any filter, if I click on search, then I can see all the material gathered by uh, Ali, if internet works. It's like the connection is going very, very. Yeah. Yeah, let me connect my the the the, the Wi-Fi. Wi yeah, the Wi-Fi doesn't work fine. So let me connect once again to my uh, phone. <coughs> me again. can service thing well hopefully with my connection so uh we are here with ali and i click on search to save bandwidth let me uh, stop the video Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me. Okay. We can search by date, by user, and by keyword. I hope this time this works. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, it's working. Uh, I don't know why but this works. Eight, six, five, three award. Oh, it seems like yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't think I connected to my yeah to my network. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to. Uh, well, let's see what's happening.
Ah, well, no, okay. I don't know why it's not good. So in this case, uh, sorry for the internet failure. Uh, in this case, I was looking for a specific keyword is uh, in, in, in I think this is France, uh, uh, flower. Uh, this was uh, a track took by one of our uh, workmates. So uh, this flower, yeah, you can see this result in a, on a map, if the internet works, it takes a few seconds. It should take a few seconds. Yeah. So here is what I want to show you. In this case, this is a track in, in, in Antwerp took by Eva. And uh, the, the blue line is the track she was following. And uh, these are a lot of pictures. And in this case, one video link automatically to this track. OK. So, well, you can uh, reproduce at home exactly what uh, she did. And you can click on any picture. So you can see, uh, in this case, uh, whatever the picture. Uh, additionally, you can see this result in a uh, showing the result on a map or in a video mode. Hopefully, the internet works fine. This way, you can reproduce exactly what Eva did. Let me do it faster. So this is a timeline. So this is what Eva did. She was walking, so took a picture, continue walking. Oh. Yeah, you see, so you can reproduce at home or in the office what you did in, and there is a video over here, so you can do it also live. Yeah, here. Oh, well, ah, sorry, it's because of his uh, 32 times faster. Sorry. So uh, I can show you the video. Well, this is what he was. Well, this is just to show you that uh, instead of just taking photos, videos, or audio, text, or notes, you can uh, do it once you are tracking. So every material will be linked automatically to the, to the track you, you did. And you can see all the things um, afterwards at home or, or in the office. The other functionality, hopefully internet works, is if uh, you can search by user. So. Ali was the one who allows me to show you the results. So well, so this was all the material taken by Ali, photos, audio, text, notes from uh, December 16th to February uh, uh, 5th. And well, more or less, this is a sort of overview of what Ebno Alai would allow you to, to do. OK, you can uh, download the application. Uh, I have here, uh, let me stop sharing this. And I'm going to share the presentation because I have here the, uh, here. The, um, if you can see. Otherwise, well, I'll be here till Wednesday, till Wednesday so I can help you on, on this uh, tool. Uh, for downloading the mobile app, just search for Ethno Ally on Google Play on, uh, on Apple Store. And for accessing the web based application, I don't know if you can see the URL here. It's uh, HTTP uh, well, colon slash slash cloud.mobility.deustotech.eu slash ethnolite that uh, we can share with you the the, the 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 link and well this is more or less everything about uh, ethnolite i don't know if you have any question i'm going to uh, i think that is much more interesting to share the the web uh, the ethnolite so probably based on this we can uh, answer or yeah. Hi, uh, I'd like to know if you can create 
our project. Uh, like you are um, taking over pictures and uh, tracking your route, but you want to put all together in like in a folder or in a specific project because you are a user, but you have different things that you want to do. For example, now we want to go to an app, but I also want to know in another project. So if you want to find your file, you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a good question. Currently, the application doesn't allow you to create any any folder, any project. The way uh, you can solve this, this, this situation is based on the date. I mean, as you can search for a specific period or for a specific user, you can even create a user for it, a new user for each a case study or for each uh, field work. So this this way you can easily uh, find uh, the, the the material you took in that in that time, but currently, the the application uh, doesn't allow you to create a specific projects. Okay, so uh, the the application al allows you to see all the material declared as public by anyone or your own material. Yeah, but if you, for example, have some labels or something like that, for example, now we're working on if you want to combine. Uh, this track with this picture that I have this uh, route yesterday, but tomorrow I'm going to uh, take a video in that in another place. But all of them are part of the same uh, thing. Uh, maybe if you want to look for it, but in, not a folder, but a label to identify, identify different things to combine and put it on the same. Yeah, you, you, you can use also uh, every material can be described. So you can use a specific keywords for every material. So uh, yeah, then you can search for this material with the keyword Ayanapa Maria or whatever. So this way the application showed you all the material which contains these specific keywords. Okay, and uh, you can also link, uh, I mean, afterwards at home in the office, you can link the material to, this, to a specific track. Okay, in case you forgot to uh, activate the, the track living or well, because of some reasons, you can do these things. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, Anna, because uh, we have all the streaming, can uh, answer make your question here, right? Yeah, the right? Well, uh, basically, I worked on emergency response for, uh, and uh, uh, in terms of UNHCR or other uh, like humanitarian um, uh, organizations have this uh, platform called Cobo Collect. So it's, which is very similar to this, uh, to the, the one you, that you are suggesting for a heritage in, in the sense or for case studies. Uh, do you know other uh, platforms that have the same uh, format and the same, um, like, uh, so that learning through their doing or yeah. through their experiences? <laughs> yeah, as, as you know, the, the market is plenty of uh, applications uh, quite similar among each other. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this application arose because some needs of a specific professor but after some years, as you can see, there are a, a, I don't know, medium or, or, or large community using the application. The application is for free uh, and we are building and improving the application based on the user needs. However, I'm completely sure that in the market, you can uh, find a, a similar application. I don't know if for free, mm -hmm. but a similar one. Currently, uh, you are asking me for a specific uh, name, or to to be honest, I don't know. Even, even Google allows you to do similar things. Okay, <laughs> uh, so it's yeah, it's it's depending on your specific uh, project needs. You can use a mix of application or just one, but uh, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 up to you. I, I, I don't know which uh, uh, application could works uh, uh, better or the best in, in, in your case. Mm -hmm. if, if you are interested in a tool similar to this one, uh, I mean, we can, uh, or you can tell me exactly what are your project needs or requirements. Mm -hmm. So then I can tell you if this application can help you or not. Mm -hmm. 
and if not, uh, well, we can search for any other in the, in the market. Thank you. Okay. Like, Thank you. Like, well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. And I think we must understand perfectly about uh, what is uh, ethnoally and what is not. Hmm. So it's, it's, it's a good tool for collecting uh, information, media, making interviews, and tracking also the path that we do for collecting this, but it's not a platform, it's not a tool uh, for uh, other kind of interactions. So it could be, it could become because uh, it's an, as, a, as a Alfonso told us, is an alive uh, uh, work, it's, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. So if we, we find, they find resources, so they can go forward, they can have a much more application than these, but uh, at the moment uh, we can use it in a way that uh, is, a, is a group of, uh, let's say, uh, people uh, and interviewing people or reading signs of the landscape. Yeah, in a, in, in, in a few words, Ethnoalai can be seen as a online diary. Okay, uh, uh, and it's important for, for better understanding this application, it's important to know the origin because the origin is based on a visual anthropologist who wanted to document everything he was doing in the field work interviewing people, uh, searching for some noise or picture or videos or whatever, okay? So this is the origin of the, of the tool. And I suggest, uh, Giuseppe, well, we can adapt, we can include new functionalities uh, based on these cost action needs and requirements, okay? But, well, uh, it needs time, uh, Funds, it, it's, it's not uh, it's not so easy. Yeah, we have a small budget, but uh, maybe we can use a small budget this year also for improving ethnally the, the one for networking tools. Yeah, let's think about that and maybe your suggestions. The one from Maria, from Grace, and the others could be a starting point for creating a call uh, how to improve this uh, this tool. But it would be also great, for example, if, if each of you of the research group uh, use it and analyze in different way the, the heritage people, and we can uh, compare, we can see how different we are. It's already a first step to understand that uh, each one has his own vision and creating a team with a common vision is already a participation uh, effort. And I think uh, for the moment, uh, we, we, should, we could close uh, with Alfonso, but uh, you have to practice the ectonally and then come back to Alfonso yeah, and right. Alfonso will help you if we have a problem. So maybe also we can, you can get your suggestion, feedback uh, for improving the tool. And, and there is a question there, over there. Question from uh, Twitter. Come please, because we have the streaming. Okay, uh, thank you Alfonso for oh, okay. the explanation. And uh, recently I did some studies in um, qualitative methods. And in qualitative methods, we have a kind of research, which is ethnography. So ethnography, we go to the field, we interview some um, person, and we need a field uh, diary to take some notes. So if I understand these apps can help us to yeah. interact with these people, save the data and have everything in one place, right? Yeah. Okay. So with, 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 with the smartphone, you have everything you need to do the, the field work. Okay, as, 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 as okay I think it's, uh, I was really looking for something yeah. like this. And I think it will help me. Yeah, please use it in, in case you have any question or- Yes, yeah. for, for my PhD research. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And I suggest you, you can make a, a hope in a field with comments, uh, customer feedback so that we can directly- Yeah, we can, yeah. If, if you access the web page, you have here, oh, sorry, you have here the contact. So this, uh, this is uh, Paolo and me, the, the, I don't know the name. Uh, 
Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Paul, okay. Paolo from the social science and me from the uh, technical yeah, side. Thank you. Yeah.